I started a new Clock Rail account to see how high I could push using only card evolutions. That means on this account, I can only upgrade an evolved card. Everything else is permanently locked to its starting level. So to start this challenge, I beat the tutorial, bought some gems, and then unlocked the Pass Rail to gain access to our first evolution. Boom! Six out of six evolution shards. And there is our Knight evolution we then waited a few seasons to unlock some more pass royales and evolutions and then upgraded them all to some disgusting levels and we have the bad evolution six out of six and 25 gems go ahead over here add in some of these wild cards boom royal recruits this is so broken one more upgrade level 14 then we started our trophy push but quickly found out that it was actually too hard to even play an evolution because the unevolved form was just too strong there's the giant let's go in with some level 14 recruits yo this is so disgusting i don't even know why clash rail allows this i don't even know why clash rail allows this clash rail shame on you those level 14 recruits they're gonna go in by itself and just three crown them. I don't even have a chance to play the evolutions. That is absolutely disgusting. Let's unlock a new evolution. And there we go. Boosted to level 11. We'll throw that in our deck and let's jump into a battle. Let's see what these wall breakers can do. Wall breakers going in. Get to that tower. Unevolved version. Does it take tower by itself? <laughs> That's half the tower health gone to one set of two elixir wall breakers. Mini's destroying the mini P.E.K.K.A. Let's go mini P.E.K.K.A. here for the giant. And let's get back to some wall breakers here. Wall breakers here. He should be able to defend that mini P.E.K.K.A. It's only level three. And there we have the wall breaker evolution unlocked and ready to go. Let's see if we can three crown him with it. Once that goblin hut goes down, I'm going to go in with the wall breakers. Come on, spears. Thank you. Man, those level 1 spear goblins do no damage. Let's ignore the goblin cage. Let's ignore the giant. Let's go in wall breakers at the bridge. Come on. Can you guys three crowd him? <laughs> oh, they don't. Let's use this new emote right here. I just bought it. <laughs> Let's go. Evil wall breakers going in. Let's go some minions here as well. Boom. Look at that little guy go in there. Boom. We then easily climbed up another 400 trophies before we face our first real opponent. All right, this guy is level eight, which means he's actually a player and not a bot. Let's go in with the real recruits. We, we got to try this battle. We have to actually try here. Goblin's going down. We destroy the mini picket. We have the level 14 recruits. It is our only upgraded card. Everything else is starting level. And the recruits go in. <laughs> Look at the tower right side. Oh no, he doesn't even stand a chance. Even with his level 8 cards. Let's bust out the evolved recruits and see what they can do. Baby Dragon coming in hot. We're going to choose to ignore it. We might sacrifice our tower in the process, but we now have the evil recruits going in. There's a hog rider. Level 14 evil recruits versus a level 7 hog rider. <laughs> Look at it get destroyed. Uh oh. Is that a problem? Oh no. <laughs> I have to fireball the skeletons. But watch the recruits go in. They delete the prince. He doesn't stand a chance. And now the recruits three crown. And then a few more wins that we face off against our highest level opponent so far. Oh, this guy's level 10. We're gonna play seriously here. We literally have all level one cards, starting levels, and the recruits are our only strong one. Let's go in. Do we support that with some level one spear goblins? Let's try it out. Level 40 recruits supported with level 1 spears. And you know what? They actually did some pretty good work there. The one recruit's still on tower. That is 700 damage dealt left lane. Split some level 1 archers. Split some level 1 goblins. And you know what? Let's go level 1 minions as well. And now we have the recruit evolution ready to go. Oh, there's a level 13 P.E.K.K.A. The recruits are struggling versus the P.E.K.K.A. But they can probably overwhelm. No. They just got stopped. Oh, we're in trouble here. What do we do? <gasps> Boom. Archer gets destroyed. Pekka versus tower. Pekka's going to go in. Pekka gets destroyed. No, he's got a magic archer. I can't fireball it. My fireball is level three. Oh, no. And he also has an evolution. I mean, we should be fine, right? What happens if I fireball this magic archer? How much damage does it actually do? How much damage does it actually do? 
I need two fireballs to kill the magic archer. Wait, I think I need three actually. That's not even half HP with that magic archer. Go evil recruits to your right side. We stop the battle ram again. If he goes in with the peck on the left side, I think we go giant. Otherwise, we just swarm and win. There's the recruits going down. I don't think he can stop it. Even the power of the level 13 peck is not enough for the evolutions. Recruits going down. We're already back to some more recruits. And they swarm and overwhelm the tower right side. Dude. Evos are broken. And there we are. We should be over a thousand trophies now. Come on. Let's go. Arena Force Bell Valley. Let's claim some of these rewards over here. We got goblins, recruits, minions. Let's go in this and choose the Valkyrie. We got some more gold, some more gems. Oh, let's go in with the Barbarians, I suppose. Let's go in with the Mega Minion. We got some gold. We got another silver chest. Gems. Giant chest with a ton of gold. There's the Wall Breakers. They're actually boosted something you care. Nice, thank you. And you know what? This is a bit too easy. Let's make it harder. Let's replace all of these level three cards and make the entire rest of the deck level one. And let's see how long we can go before we lose a game. Should be a problem. This guy's so aggressive, dude. We gotta sacrifice that tower. We have to sacrifice that tower. All right, we're at a, this is a bad spot to be in. I have no air defense versus that balloon. Oh no. We gotta focus up here. We gotta focus up now. Oh, my headphones just came out. My legs over my headphone cable. We're back in it. All right, cool. Headphones are in. We're dialed in here. <laughs> we gotta come back. Okay, the recruits left lane are getting some work in. But we still gotta get a tower down here. Uh, let's go. Skeletons in the middle. Goblins in the middle as well. And can the Evo recruits get us back in this game? Let's get Evo recruits for the Goblin Barrel. Minions for the Balloon. Minions level one should be able to get a little bit of damage down for the level seven Balloon. And then we have the power of the counter pushing recruits. I feel like we should get some damage done. No, minions. Oh, uh, we're fine. <laughs> yeah. Why was I ever worried? All right, back to the uh, relaxation spot because uh, <laughs> this is going to be another three crown. He kind of caught me off guard there with the uh, balloon at the bridge. Was not expecting that. We don't really have too much air defense in this deck because everything's level one, but. Uh, we still win. So that was a little scary. We almost lost the undefeated streak, but then this happened in the very next battle. There's the evil firecracker. This is the problem. This is a problem here. I've got nothing to defend this freaking firecracker, man. Uh, evil recruits save me. If he goes minion horse, no, witch. Don't lock on. Thankfully that retargets, but uh, the giant does get into my tower here. The firecracker is going to destroy us too, eh? Oh no. Oh no. All right, back to the series position here let's focus up here guys <laughs> that firecracker is the main issue i have nothing to hit her from like behind the giant so she's stacking up like crazy maybe i need that level three fireball back because that level three fireball should destroy level eight recruits right all right we destroy that witch we can finish off the giant right side okay Let's focus up here. We haven't lost a game so far, right? 2,000 trophies. And I think if he overcommits, we have a chance to win. If we can bait him into overcommitting, yes, there we go. Once that fight cracker is down, now we have a chance to go in. She was the biggest threat on defense, in addition to that stupid minion horde. But we might be able to break through with the recruits. They might charge fast enough to get to that tower and deal enough damage here. Go, recruits, go. No, they just got devoured. Okay. Level one cards are not pulling their weight right now. <laughs> This is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Oh no, freaking firecracker, man. Okay, we finished the firecracker off. Go over cruise, go faster, faster, faster. Get to the, yes, there we go, thank you. He missed his fireball. That's my chance, that's my chance. Go over cruise, go. Get in there. Come on. That's what we needed to kind of have a chance to win this. We store the firecracker there. Goblin's in the middle. I'm not using the barbarians because they're only one level one and they're five elixir, so there's no point. Get some more recruits going down. Let's go giant cannon in the middle here. Oh, he missed his fireball. Let's go. Skeletons. Archers. 
Spirit Goblins. Goblins. Woo! That was a really close battle, but somehow we managed to hold on for the victory. Oh, this is getting difficult. Oh no, it's a lot of freaking skeletons, man. I got no spells. No! Tower, shoot faster! My minions are level one, they're useless. So is my barbarian, so there's no point in even using them, they'll just die. I think the best case scenario here is we give them that tower, then we go evil recruits, and then we win. Uh, you know what, maybe we didn't need to give them that tower part, but it should still work out in our favor. We got the evil recruits going down, we can go minions for this bomb tower. And, oh no. Don't tell me the recruits die. Come on, recruits. I recruited you for a reason. Get in there. No. If we take down one side, we might be... No. Oh, this is this is an issue. I have no spell for the skeletons. And my spirit goblins can't kill them. Because they're too low level. Oh, thankfully, they did not reproduce. Um, but we are in some trouble here. The dragons are on my tower. The evil recruits are not enough. We don't have enough range cards. That's the problem. He's got too much swarm. We've got enough range cards, and he's got Bomb Tower, Skarmy, Skeletons, and Skeleton Dragons to destroy my recruits. Oh, dude, no! We've lost our first battle, and the Undefeated Tree comes to an end. So now is a good time to open up a ton of rewards. We have so many stacked up over here. Let's choose the Wizard for some reason. Gold. I'm going to go in with the Fire Spirit. It doesn't really matter anyways. We can't really upgrade them. Uh, we'll go with Zap. We need a spell. Although level 1 Zap kind of sucks, doesn't it? Magical chest. Ooh, let's go in with the... I want to go flying machine. That'll be very, very handy. Level three flying machine. And we have our first epic. We definitely need the witch. We need some splash damage and some range in our deck. Now, obviously, we cannot upgrade her, so we have to keep her at level six. But that is a lot higher than our current level ones. And then we have our first epic chest. What do we get over here, epic chest? We got some wild cards, some wall breakers. More witches, can't really upgrade it, and we have the P.E.K.K.A. unlocked. And let's quickly open up all of these crown chests in the past rail to see if we get anything else. We got a lot stacked up here, dude. Okay, we'll save the rest of the chest for later on when we get to a higher arena, but what are we, what are we working with now? Honestly, the level 1 challenge is kind of fun, but I am ready to try out a different strategy. Let's get rid of the Barbarians and the Cannon. Now, let's throw in a couple cycle cards, and what else we got? Oh, baby, Dragon, let's go in there. Oh, we can't use the Witch. She's boosted to level 11. Oh, I was so excited to use her. And let's try out the Knight Evolution instead of the Recruits. And let's see how it goes. I have a feeling the recruits will be better, but the knight is a higher level, and I don't really want to upgrade the recruits yet. Knight going in. Let's go goblins to soak the damage of the mini P.E.K.K.A. and also the quickler cycle. Baby Dragon here. Let's take a few cards. Come on. Yes! We can finally destroy those pesky skeletons. Oh, the recruits struggled so hard with those Skarmies. The knight going down. Let's go one more level 15 knight right side of the arena. And fast cycle some more cards here. Oh my goodness, we're already back to another knight evolution. Let's go. Look at the level one goblins right side in the mini P.E.K.K.A. They do no damage. The mini P.E.K.K.A. is surviving so long. Wait, how did the prince charge my tower? And now we go in with the Knight Evolution. It should be able to destroy. And then we support it with a baby dragon, some fire spirit, some skeletons. Does the fire spirit kill skeletons at level one? It does. Let's go. That's way more handy than what I was using before. We can distract the... Oh, the <laughs> comeback it destroys. Oh, the baby dragon does lock on though. We can go one more knight to your left side. I'm actually going to ignore the right lane versus that P.E.K.K.A. Baby dragon staying alive. The knight is on tower. Let's drop one more baby D over here support this knight and that pekka is somehow still alive on my tower dude what the freak doesn't matter though we have a knight going in we have two baby dragons and we have another three crown we then went undefeated for another 200 trophies to reach a new arena which meant it was time to unlock another evolution here we go frozen peak arena eight let's go in here by the pass rail to unlock another evolution and there we are a pass rail unlocked we get some chest gems we got 74 more rewards holy moly's i want the ice spirit oh that'll be good and where is the bomber evolution dude there you are bomber evolution unlocked let's throw in the bomber into the evil slot and then we'll throw in the ice spirit in place of the archers for a faster cycle and let's see what this bomber can do bomber going in Go goblins, spear goblins, ice spear for the reset. And get back to the bomber evolution as fast as we can. Yo, the one cycle, two elixir bomber? That is insane. Let's keep going. Double bomber at the bridge with some spirit action. 
They don't have arrows. Oh, but they stay alive. Come on, Bomber. Let's go. Yes, Bomber Revolution. Destroy. Destroy the Battle Ram too. And then we'll tank for you with a baby dragon. Hopefully you stay alive, my friend. Go in there, Bomber. Hurry. Get to the tower. There's a fireball. He <laughs> missed the Bomber Evolution. So we get one throw to that tower and another Bomber goes in for one additional throw. Let's see how many Bombers we can get down at one time. Let's abuse the power of the fast cycle here. Triple Bombers going in. One evolved, two not. And we destroy the witch. They lock onto that tower dealing devastating damage. And now we have one more evolved Bomber because of the fast cycle, dude. Look at it destroy everything. Bomber up high. And then we finish this game off with another double bomber push. Bomber's going in, locking onto that tower. Tower goes down. We just unlocked another epic chest. Let's see if we can get that free spell. Goblin Barrel. Lightning spell should be pretty decent. There's the prince. Give me the freeze, please. Okay, I'll take the baby dragon. And we just unlocked one of the most important rewards. The free spell. Let's throw that in place of the spear goblins. Can we get to my free spell here? It's going to be so disgusting paired up with my evolutions. This free spell is going to be so gnarly. Get it ready to go. Oh, look at this. Ready for this? Boom. We destroy the entire Skarmy and the witch. We keep our level 14 recruits alive. Oh, I'm so happy with that free spell. Yes, sir. Um, Let's ignore that baby dragon left side and the Valkyrie. Let's just get the evil recruits. Just get the evil recruits down. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right, now it's time. Recruits going in. They destroy the Falcon. Let's get back to the free spell. And let's see what happens when we pair up the free spell with the evolved recruits. Recruits going down. We need a bit more elixir. The ice spirit should offer a temporary freeze. There we go. Long enough for the evil recruits to destroy the dark points, that's for sure. And then where's your Skarmy, my friend? Where is it? Where's your Skarmy? You're going to give it to me? No Skarmy. All right, I'll freeze you. <laughs> and we should be at a new arena here. There we are. Jungle Arena 9. Let's go. And to celebrate hitting Jungle Arena, we actually have a legendary chest in this welcome back offer. So let's see what we get. I'm hoping for something crazy.